Oh, Chase. Top shot. Beautiful play. 14 points for Cheeks. Maurice Cheeks does such a nice job finishing shots off. He does not distort them. He gets in there and uses the glass nicely. Five-point lead for the Celtics. Danny Ainge trying to set up. He looked the shot off that time. Rebound by Johnson. Out it comes to Cheeks. And now the six are starting to make a little bit of a push. Been a game of spurts. Three from outside. Doesn't go. McHale's got it. Seven rebounds for Kevin McHale. See, Bobby Jones respects Wedman's ability to shoot outside. There's Cheeks. Takes it away from McHale. Cheeks is just bringing this team back. Great speed. Maurice Cheeks, he made the steal and then drove it right down the basket. It's like now we have Ainge and three after each other. Three threw a right hand and hit Ainge. He staggered him, too. Yes, he did. That was a solid right hand by three. And now the cooler heads are prevailing. That was following that beautiful drive by Cheeks and erupts into this. Danny Ainge is out on his feet, Gary. He took a right hand by Sedale three, and he is out on his feet right now. Reminds me of Mike Weaver yesterday in that heavyweight fight when Bone Crusher Smith put him out. Let's go back now and reconstruct this for you. Cheeks with a beautiful move, and after the basket, here's how it developed. Let's watch it. All right, Sedale three. It looks like he was pushed in the back by one of his teammates, and he pushed Danny Ainge down. Now, let's watch what happens. They're going to shove each other. Ainge bumps, and they shove, and right here's the right hook. Right there, Sedale, three, really. And here's where Danny Ainge, you see him staggering right now. He's going to go down. He is out on his feet right there, Gary. Well, Danny, that time, who's been that kind of a guy, he's a frustrated guy sometimes. He's very active has had the tendency to get into some fisticuffs before, and he took on three. And I'll say one thing, the scouting report on Sedell three is he has a good right cross. That well, was a very tough blow. Danny seemingly now has shaken it off, but uh, you could see the potential of some real damage. Well, the one thing that happened there, too, is when Danny Ainge pushed Sedell after they had the tendency to get into some fisticuffs before, and he took on three. And I'll say one thing, the scouting report on Sedell three is he has a good right cross. That well, was a very tough blow. Danny seemingly now has shaken it off, but uh, you could see the potential of some real damage. Well, the one thing that happened there, too, is when Danny Ainge pushed Sedell after they re retaliated against each other, he dropped his hands, and Sedell hit him with a quick shot, and he's been ejected from the ball game. Let's go back once again and uh, yeah, watch, watch it. Here he's down. talking, Gary, and here's a little bump. He says something to him, and there's a push, and there's the push by him, and drops his hands. Actually, it was Ainge that initiated all of that. Even though he was pushed out of bounds, he did say something, did push Sedale, and Sedale now has been thrown out of the ball game. Matt Gook is checking with Daryl Garrettson now, and you can see the look in Ainge's eyes. As Doug said it, he was almost out on his feet, and now Gukas, I think he wants Ainge out of the ball game as well. well. What he's trying to say is he feels that Danny Ainge started it, that he should be tossed out as well, and he's letting Daryl Garrettson know that, that Danny Ainge, he felt, cracked Sedale three first before Sedale... Uh, punched I, him. I think I'm being fair, but Danny's been involved in several of these, hasn't he, Doug? Well, he was involved in one in Boston Garden a few years ago with Tree Rollins, and Tree Rollins about bit his finger off. But Ainge is going to remain in the game, obviously, as he's now shooting the technicals, and it's one of those things, Doug, where the guy that retaliates seemingly always gets caught. But I think our replay showed that this guy initiated the problem. So Matt is on the court trying to resolve this situation. He is still asking if Ainge, why Ainge is not ejected from the game. The thing that hurts is that Philadelphia, Doug, was making a move. Cheeks had made two great driving baskets. Now you lose three. Plus you have two points from the free throw line, and it could stem what was a comeback. 
We got we got going another Clem fight Johnson going. Now. Ainge and Clement Johnson. Danny Ainge is, is is talking now with Clem Johnson, and now a technical on Clem Johnson. Gary, we got to be very diff uh, very careful right now because something could really get nasty here. Well, Ainge is going to. What's he doing shooting more free throws? A technical on Clem Johnson. Okay, another technical. This one's on Clem Johnson and Ainge. It's just ignoring all this confusion, and he's hit three of them in a row. You know, this is sort of reminiscent of what happened last year in Boston Garden when Julius Irving and Larry Bird had their little set to, and it got really, really uh, nasty. These two teams have bad blood. They respect each other, but there's bad blood, and you don't need something like this occurring right now. Right now, these, everybody is standing in the stands. Just feel a powder keg right now after the free throws by Ames. The Celtics lead it 74-68 with 16 seconds to go in the third period. They're going now for the last shot of this period. To McHale, beautiful pass. Feasting to McHale. 76-68. Here is Cheeks looking for some operating room to Catledge. Tough shot by Catledge. And we've come to the end of three periods of play. The score, Boston 76, Philadelphia 68. We'll return after this word from your local station. This is...